Gentio, the Arcanist, is a really interesting boss fight. This guy has a lot of counters, two of which are only active in the later phases, but do keep those in mind, especially the last one. But starting off, the boss will counter if you perform a buff, if you try to inflict a status ailment, or if you magically attack him. And uh, quite a few things count as status ailments, so basically if you're trying to put him to sleep, if you're trying to slow the boss, all of that is just going to raise his BP, so be careful about that. This guy will use his BP to use his magical spells. He only uses magical spells, so you want to have uh, equipment like this. Mirage Vest, Ninja Garb, whatever, like all of that equipment increases either light resistance or dark resistance. As this boss typically uses light based and dark based spells, like here's a light one, Electon, it does a lot of damage if you do not have any resistances. If you go into this fight with no resistances and you're not like highly leveled, I imagine he'll probably sweep your team pretty quickly, especially if he ever gets the 3 BP, which is very easy uh, for him to do if you do not know what his counters are. Like, um, even just using Benediction, right? Where you're just like, oh, okay, let me increase my healing output. Like, yeah, Benediction, that is a buff, technically. And every Kiraga, which you can hit onto him because he's undead, undead are hurt by healing, then, yeah, you can have quite a bit of trouble, so do look out for that. And then when it comes to using physical attacks in the first phase, you don't have to worry about any counters that doesn't start until the second phase. But just in general for this fight, once you, as long as you have your resistances, then it's just about making sure you have high magical defense. When you're choosing your equipment, as you know, you have quite a few pieces to choose from, don't only look at what's the highest level, like what's the most expensive gear for your level. Actually do look at the magical defense, because sometimes you'll have lower tiered gear that can actually have higher uh, magical defense than what the more expensive items are, so do stay aware of that. And then yeah, for this first phase, I highly advise just defaulting a lot, as again, the boss does not try to hit you at all, uh, for, or he doesn't have a counter, I should say, for doing the defaults, and obviously you have increased defense, so it's easier to heal yourself. So yeah, just uh, get that BP all the way up. And then when you do decide to knock him out for his phase, this boss is different from others. So even though his BP is maxed because I did all those buffs and I hit him with a heal, as soon as the next phase starts, the battles kind of reset a bit. Like, you still have all of your BP and buffs, but the boss lost all of his BP and his max HP has changed. He also, now that he's in phase 2, he's going to start doing this new attack here, Ardor. So this does fire and water damage. It also heals himself as it deals damage to himself, but he can absorb those elements. So do be wary of that. And yes, here's where he starts using the Comet counter when you hit him physically. Comet isn't a very powerful spell, so I don't think it's something that you need to worry about too much. But if you have no magical resistance or if your HP levels are just low, then yeah, it can be a spot of bother. If you use the Red Mage, you can actually get out a lot of shells, because they have the uh, dual cast, the chain spell specialty, if you have the max level. So you can throw all that out there. The boss will get max BP, because he's going to counter you doing buffs, but sometimes, you know, you have max BP yourself, and you want to perform your buffs, you want to perform your spells. So if he's already going to get max BP, you might as well just do all of that in a row so you can get all your buffs, get all of your damage out there. And he can only have 3 BP. 3 BP is as high as it gets. Though, once he is at that, he's going to just cast a whole bunch of spells. In phase 2, he's going to start weaving Ardor into his cast. But yeah, mixing Ardor with Dark Ga and Electon, that can be really, really difficult. Because there's only so many things you can be resistant to. Personally, I would highly suggest being resistant to light and dark magic. Um, if you don't have access to light or dark resistance gear, 
then it's going to be very difficult. Uh, but yeah, do check to see if you have anything that's resistant to fire or water, because that can help as well. And uh, do make sure that you're on top of like your ethers and stuff. If you have all your BP, because again, it's really easy to default on this boss on both phase one and phase two. Then yeah, go ahead, get your BP up, uh, ether up, get your MPs, uh, your MP all the way up. Like it's really easy to just set up for the next phase in uh, phase one and phase two. Phase three is a little bit different. If you try to default in phase three, he will counter you with death. It's not guaranteed to kill you, but it absolutely can, even if you're at max HP, so I would suggest not trying to default anymore, and that's definitely the main reason why you want to take advantage of trying to set up in Phase 2 going into Phase 3, because, yeah, if you try to get your BP up, you literally just die, so <laughs> it's not really worth it. But yeah, Phase 3 isn't um too crazy. He's mostly doing the same stuff, besides the death. The main problem would be there's a new spell that he can cast. He's a little bit more aggressive as well. Because uh, in Phase 1 and Phase 2, he'll default a lot more, where in Phase 3, he definitely attacks a lot. And he's, again, waving, uh, weaving in more Electons into his cast. But most importantly, Meltdown. Meltdown is Fire and Wind. And it just does so much damage, so if you're not careful, you're gonna get bodied. Um, something you can do, because like I like to use my Kiragas on the boss, so instead of healing with my White Mage, I actually have X Potions, because you can buy those from the shops at this point in the game. Uh, I just use the X Potions to heal people sometimes, so I can focus more on dealing the uh, damage with my Kiragas. Cause especially after a benediction, because yeah, normally it's like, oh yeah, benediction, let me, you know, heal for more. But nah, <laughs> these Kiragas heal for quite a bit, because like the boss right now, uh, I just checked, he had 16,000 HP. Uh, even with that being the case, all I have to do is that one benediction into the four Kiragas, and yeah, the boss is defeated. <laughs> Easy peasy, not even a problem. And yeah, there's a last cutscene there, but yeah, that is the end of the boss fight. Um, it's definitely an interesting one since they do the whole phase thing in between cutscenes that resets the boss's stats and his BP, but it doesn't reset yours. So definitely take advantage of that because that'll make the fight a lot easier. But either way, that's going to be me. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. Either way, that's going to be me. Peace.